الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا كونوا قوامين لله شهداء بالقسط ولا يجرمنكم شنان قوم على ألا تعدلوا اعدلوا هو أقرب للتقوى واتقوا الله إن الله خبير بما تعملون Allah سبحانه وتعالى reminds us of the concept of justice in the Holy Quran many times Justice can be translated in a number of ways, but one of the ways to uh, one of the ways the Arabic terminology that matches the concept of justice is qis. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wallahu hibbul muqsiteen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who are just. Justice is a fundamental aspect of Islam. You know, being just, being just to one's own self. So in other words, not abusing ourselves, being just in our interactions with others, being fair. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a quality and characteristics that's loved by everyone. Being, being just and fair when it comes to those that you love and those that you don't love. And there's a very profound verse, very important verse in the Holy Quran that summarizes this concept of justice very, you know, uh, very uh, articulates this concept of justice very clearly for all of us. Allah addresses the believers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya yuhalladheena amanu, O believers, kunu qawwameena lillahi shuhada bil qist. The stand upright. I'm paraphrasing the, the, the verse. A stand upright and, 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 and give witness. Shuhada lil qist. And be just when you're giving witness. When you are, when you are called to uh, give a, 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 a witness, a gawahi, then be just in your, in, in your statements, in your uh, observations that you have observed. وَلَا يَجْرِمَنَّكُمْ شَنَآنُ قَوْمٍ عَلَىٰ أَلَّا تَعْدِلُوا Now this is the core of the matter. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and وَلَا يَجْرِمَنَّكُمْ شَنَآنُ And let not someone's hatred, someone's uh, grudge against somebody, or, or uh, your dislike of someone, you know, make you stay, uh, make you, uh, take you away from being just. You know, sometimes what happens, that we, we, we are fine and fair when it comes to, um, you know, someone that we don't really care that much about, or we don't really have any uh, particular um, affection towards them. Um, and when it comes to uh, our emotions, if somebody we dislike or somebody uh, we have hatred towards, which we shouldn't really have, but then we actually detract from being just because we think this is an opportunity for us to bring them down or this is an opportunity for us to take revenge. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns us very clearly. Allah says, Let not someone's hatred um, distract you from being just. It's really important. Allah says, Remind Remind us again, be just, that this is nearer to the concept of conscious, God consciousness, piety, righteousness, that when you're just, this is, this, you, you are just because you have the consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your heart, and you are trying to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who aqrabu li taqwa, wa taqullah. Allah says again, be conscious of the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and fear Allah, have the love of Allah in your heart, and that will remind you to be just. Now let's take some examples of the issues when we have to be just. Like for instance, in our, in our marital issues, sometimes there's, there's an argument between husband and wife, and we, we lose the, the whole notion of being just. You know, we, we, we lash out on each other, we, are, we remind each each other of the things that might have happened in the past many years ago and we're not fair in our treatment especially in-laws like mother-in-law and, and daughter-in-law or father-in-law and the son-in-law we, we lose this whole notion of being just and we are um, you know we, we uh, do not give the due right that's deserving that they are deserving of and so it's very important that we are just in our in our affairs then obviously the international uh, on at an international level the justice we need to stand for, for stand up for justice uh, whether it's the people that we know or the people that we do not know, whether they are Muslims or not Muslims. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, you know, uh, is always on the side of justice. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam reminds us, he says, the one who stands up against oppression and stands up for, for the humanity, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will assist them. Uh, and, and these days, sadly, we see uh, the... the 
un we see so much injustice across the world that really heart bleeds when we hear of the gross misconduct that uh, 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 certain governments are uh, doing against their own people. And this is like something, you know, whether it's Syria, whether it's Rohingya, whether it's Kashmir, whether it's uh, you know, the, the uh, unlawful settlements in Palestine, you know, all of that is, is, is against international human rights and against the international law and we need to uh, we need to um, get together in terms of international communities and using democratic channels and using uh, the the uh, roots of justice to try to establish social justice as well as political and economic justice that's much needed in our uh, fractured world and we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helps us to establish justice in our own lives as well as across the world